the weekend to myself you guys my mother is watching my son i just needed like to get out the damn house like <laughs> like it's one thing you know someone's watching your child but you're in the same house and i'm like okay i gotta get out the house so i was gonna drive all the way to virginia for this piece of place that i love and it's healthy and i'm like on my way there and i'm talking to my best friend maya and i'm like hold on you ain't doing nothing tomorrow we i ain't doing nothing tomorrow like yo i'm pulling up to dc let's go get the pieces together so I'm in DC right now. <laughs> we are about to go get this pizza. She's just coming along for the ride. Like she needs to get out the house and I needed to get out the house. So we're going from Maryland to DC to Virginia to back to DC and then home to Maryland. I'm look, sis needs a break. Sis needed like a couple of hours away from her son. And I don't care at this point, gas is cheap. I'm not spending money on food, really. I will take that drive to Woodbridge. Oh, here she comes. <laughs> Look, I thought I would vlog. <laughs> I was like, shoot, let me vlog this so we get in the fucking house. You were kidding me. got a whole book bag. <laughs> She saved me. She saved me. Put oh. your seatbelt on, y'all. Let me tell you. This girl oh, is so still cool. Whole... Yes, I'm doing the whole trip. It You're doing like the it. whole trip? This girl's a whole nurse and doesn't wear seatbelts. Somebody make that make sense. Y'all <laughs> don't understand how Nicole saved me. I'm a... She literally called me and I was like, I'm so sad. I'm like by myself. I'm so depressed. And she's like, uh-uh, I'm coming right now. I'm coming yet right now. I was like, okay, then. And let's do a disclaimer before y'all talking about we haven't been social distancing. We've been in the house for a month and a half now, basically. Plus, we both just saw each other last week. So yes, it's not we like did. we weren't around each other. Yes, we did. It's and it's okay. I actually wouldn't mind if Nicole gave me this COVID virus. Oh no, I, bitch, I don't want COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Uh, don't kill the person. Right. This is what I hate about. Um, First of all, it is mad police out. It was like this when I was driving back home. Well, I think that they're not really like enforcing the whole lockdown thing, but what they are saying is that like they're monitoring everything. I mean, the first couple of weeks, though, was a lot more police than it is now. Yeah, but, it, but I haven't seen police anywhere, but literally on the strip. But that's because there's so much drugs on this wow. strip. Yeah, like there's a lot of well, yeah. activity, particularly like this it. corner right here. Like yeah. that's what they have. You see how they put those cameras like right there? Y'all want to see the boys on the block? Hold on. Boys on the block. Yes. Hi, friends. Hey, world. Look who saved me. This is crazy. Sorry, y'all. The rest of this footage is not here because I needed my phone for directions. And then after that, we had like a major girl talk that was just not going to be on YouTube. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and fast forward to the next day. Now I should pick up a little bit, but good morning. This has been one of the best mornings I've had so far. So I don't know how like I'm gonna do this video. Honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna like put this in getting ready with me or make it its own like little vlog, but I really just wanted to vlog this weekend. This is my first weekend of quarantine <laughs> without my son um yeah without my son he's still in the same house with me but um my parents are watching them watching him for the weekend so it's kind of like me getting my own space well i mean we're still in the same house but like they're trying to keep him separated from me so that i get my own space um it's just been really good like i needed this it's been seven weeks of you know doing everything that I've been doing and being completely busy myself and it's just exhausting and I've honestly just needed a weekend and it's funny too because my dad just hit me up like oh you can drop Nixon off today in my house I'm gonna drop him off next week okay <laughs> um get two weeks while I can but yeah I 
I just want to come in here because I'm having such a relaxing day so far. I woke up and went for a run. Um, if you're following me on Instagram, you know, like during this whole quarantine, I've been running 2.5 miles a day. So I woke up and did my 2.5 miles. And then I also do like a 30 minute workout after my miles. But on Saturdays, that is my like, Saturdays are my um, stretching days. So I did a deep stretch today and then I found a 10 minute foam roller video. So I did a 10 minute foam roller stretch and I feel so freaking relaxed. Hold on, he's loud as shit. But I feel so relaxed, like, ugh. And then I took my dog for a walk while I drink my protein. And I just am so relaxed. Like, I've just needed to be so relaxed for the longest time. You know, I, I will say, like, if you're a man watching this and you have a girl and Mother's Day is coming up and you all have a child, like, let her relax. Like, give her something to relax to. Give her something that smells good. Give her something that just eases her. Because I swear, that's all we need during this time. It's just, like, something that eases. Like, even some flowers. Something that smells amazing, something that just like can ease the soul is exactly what all moms need, honestly, during this season. So, um, I was gonna hop in the shower, but I decided to go get an espresso. I have not drank espresso in months since this happened, and I want a shot of espresso, so. I'm about to get a shot of espresso really quickly and then go to Target because I don't have a lighter for my candles. It um, ran out, so I just want to pick up a lighter really quickly for my candles because, sis, we're keeping this vibe. Like, I'm keeping this vibe all day. It's It feels so good to have this vibe. And then yesterday, oh my God. It, I mean, it's just been such a great weekend yesterday. Like, I'll insert the footage. I was with my best friend, Maya. I ended up, so I ended up going, I wanted, like, my favorite pizza because it's healthy and it's bomb as hell. Um, so, I wanted this pizza that I had been craving for a minute. And, like, we got nothing but time out here. So, I was like, I'm going to take that drive. And then while I was on my way, I was talking to my best friend, Maya. And I'm like, hold on. You're not doing nothing. I'm not doing nothing. Like, I'm coming to scoop you and we're going to take this trip. So I went from Maryland to D.C. to Virginia to back to D.C. to back to Maryland. And honestly, it was the perfect. Like, not only did we both need this, but we both were going through some things. And it was something that I was about to experience while I was with her. And I thank God she was there when I saw it because when you and you know it's something like you pee and it's like you know it was like God was like God shows you things like I pray constantly just God show me what I need to see give me wisdom Sh show me you know things that I need to see like please put me in situations that I need to learn from so I saw something and um peep some shit and like, I think God my was there because there's nothing like someone there to rationally help you in a situation to where you're thinking rational and not emotional. Because, like, immediately when I see something that affects my mood, I completely just shut down. And I was about to shut down and she was like, no, like, we need to talk about this. And we talked about it. Like, we thoroughly talked about it. Like, and it was so needed because I woke up and even like after the conversation like it was just like ugh. like I needed that I needed to talk about that I needed to get that out I needed to be in my feelings for like 30 minutes and then move accordingly and like I always give myself that in situations like girl you have 30 minutes to cry it out or feel some type of way but after that no move accordingly Fix the situation, find ways to improve, implement some change. Like, I am very much like that person. Now, last year, it took me so much harder to get to that level, back like back to where I was because I, I couldn't do it last year. I could not do that. I was so emotionally bothered last year because I had so much on my plate. But this year, I'm such in a mental, I'm like such in a good mental place. And I'm so happy that in that one occasion where something could have messed me 
sent my best friend there to have my back, to rationally talk to me, like talk to me, to really like remind me who the fuck I am, honestly. And like just it just it didn't put a damper on my weekend mood. And I feel so good. Like I'm such an at peace right now and knowing what I need to do to move forward right now. Like all this all I'm focused on right now is moving forward. Moving forward, how to change but I wanna move forward, but I wanna move forward wisely, right? Like I want the wisdom to move forward wisely. And I don't wanna just be in a situation where I'm just jumping back to my old ways or jumping in things and and knowing that I need to put in work and I'm not putting in that work. Like I, I don't want to do that. I in, in this honest time, I've said that there are things that I want to change about me. And I'm really trying to change those things about me. I've really made so many changes that are very visible. And I want to keep that energy. I don't want to just talk about it and or put it to the side or just like really like not build from it. I really want to implement the changes that I do to make myself a healthier person and and for when I'm in situations where I have other people around me, like my son or someone that I'm, you know, eventually going to marry or something like that, I'm in a like I'm in a way better situation and I'm healthier. And it's all because I took that time right now, like I said, I was going to do to put in that work. So uh, I'm just at such a good place with my life, honestly. And even to where if something knocks me off my piece. Like I can move forward and and I'm okay. The next day I'm okay. Like I I work through it and I'm okay. And I I have a big problem of not talking it out. Um and this past year has been a huge transition with me fixing that and really talking it out. And I'm glad I was just I have friends like Maya who help me rationally talk it out because bottling that shit in is just so unhealthy it's so unhealthy and I see how I've done it and it affects others and I've seen how others done it and it affects me and I just don't want that I don't want that energy like I want to be able to rationally talk it out and I want to be able to really fix things about myself that are not good and have people there that keep like hold me accountable you know really hold me accountable really truly are you know working on things themselves and we hold each other accountable you know I don't want to and that's why I'm not dating because I don't want to meet a person right and I know I have these issues that I really need to work out and I'm not working them out right I'm just finding a new person and going through the same cycle all over again and not being smart about how I move and and not it like you just fall through the same vibe and I don't want to fall through same vibes like I really want the growth I really want to be a better person and number one it takes growth to even recognize that you want to be at that level but I really want to be at that level so I'm rambling but I hope you all can connect to like your y'all this is it is such a healthy place to genuinely like want growth and it's it, it not only want it but implement it really stay consistent in it really see situations and not regret the place where you're at right it's so easy to look at what other people are doing what uh people around you are doing people you've dated are doing it's so easy to look at that and see and peep shit and 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 be aware of shit and really regret why you're not at really regret where you're at really really resent where you're at question why you're not at this place question you know what are you lacking right I'm not at that place I'm at that place where I can look at something and genuinely say like oh I'm glad I'm at this place like I don't re like I see that and it makes me feel some type of way, but I genuinely do not regret where I'm at, and and that's and that's where I am. I genuinely don't regret where I am. Good morning, welcome to Brandon Walk Up.
Yeah, and they charge me. Hi, can I have a um just a single shot of espresso and that's it? A single shot of anything else? No, that's it. Alright, so it'll be 96 cents. Go ahead for food, okay? Thank you. Mm -hmm. I went ahead and um shot a getting ready with me and posted a picture on the gram and now i'm gonna watch this uh, can you get into woods okay yes okay she's beautiful okay don't leave her she's beautiful <laughs> all right i am about to watch um what am I about to watch? This last episode of what's it called? Um, what is this last episode called? Euphoria. I'm on the last episode, and then I'm gonna clean up because sis, oof, that's one thing I hate after shooting is it looks crazy. But I'm going to. I might go get a salad. I'm honestly wanting a salad from Panera. Um, but I have some salmon too. So I'm like, ooh. But then I can put the salmon in my salad from Panera. Ooh. I might do that. I think I just want to get out the house again, honestly. And then my face is beat. So it's like, I don't want to take this off. Because <laughs> what, what else are we going to do? What are we? And that's why I'm like, oh. My face is beat. My hair is done. I'm like, I need a... This is why I need a... Somebody could benefit from this, honestly, true. Somebody could benefit from this, honestly, truly, but... When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. So, when he say yes, then it be yes. Okay. But, um, if I get in the car and go get this salad, I'll pick the phone back up. Okay. I'm on here real quick because um, I'm making my coffee and I'm also watching church. Um, so I just wanted to do like a quick morning check-in. So um, definitely didn't do anything last night. <laughs> I think literally all I did, I didn't even start watching Game of Thrones. So I'm probably going to do that today. Um, I finished Euphoria. And I couldn't understand the ending, so I started like Googling it to understand it and see what's gonna happen next season. But it honestly was really good. I would watch Euphoria. Um, it was very complex, um, just with the different characters and the things they're going through. I thought it was really good, especially for like younger generations to kind of like relate to and, and make better choices. Um, I look busted right now. But um, I just made my coffee. I usually do the, well, today I just did the French roast, Target oat milk creamer. And then I always, always, always pour Brain Octane Bulletproof MCT oil in my coffee. Just, I've been using it for like a couple of years now. And I've always said like, I need to make better choices. So Brain Octane, you know? make better choices and not only that but it gives me energy it's supposed to like just really um activate your brain so i made my morning coffee i am about to watch church and i will talk to you guys later Just finish watching church and then I'm recording this for my phone because my camera is just too big and I don't feel like using it right now. Um, but yes, this is my next day. Fluffy hair. I need my ends tripped badly. Um, but next day, fluffy hair. My hair has grown so much. It's crazy how on its grown and clearly you see all this new growth so i need to 
get it recolored when this is done but it is raining outside so i'm gonna put my hair in a maybe a half pony i don't know because my hair gets really frizzy when it rains yeah half pony would be good about to go to the grocery store and get some quick things that i need to get um Sorry, this is like a little boring, but it's so much you can do like on your weekend to yourself during quarantine time, but it's okay because I woke up in the best mood. I did church with the morning coffee. I wrote a quick prayer, cleaned up my room, cleaned up a little bit of the bathroom and my space and, you know, I have been like in a really, like, I've just been in such a really peaceful mood, so. Um, I think if anything, this has given me like some time to myself and some peace, which has been like super important during this time. Um, and I feel like kind of refreshed. So I get my son back today at five. Um, and hey, Google, what time is it? 11.58. So I have about like a little over five hours um, left. So I'm gonna go do I'm gonna go to the grocery store um, and write a quick list. And then we need bananas. I'm gonna be eating very clean this week, cleaning up my eating. I actually been eating clean, so but I just wanna eat. I, I snack a little bit, so, but it's like healthy snacks a little bit on some days. Other days, I'm like, I need something sweet and I'll eat like bread and butter with strawberry jelly, which is super bad, but. Um, I just want to clean up my eating, especially in May, because I've lost weight during April. Um, and it's because I've just been working out five times a week and semi eating clean, but I'm trying to clean it up a little bit more and see like what my progress will be. So I got my grocery list. I think I'm just going to eat something really quickly and then head out the door. So I'll see you guys in the car. Just about to head to the grocery store. I have on my um, kids rain jacket which i love and just like a little half hoodie and some sweatpants and my run slides it's just what i'm wearing very comfy cozy um back from zara and yeah i'm just gonna glasses <laughs> i look like a mom I'm just gonna head to the grocery store like this because at this point like I'm about to wear a mask like why does it matter honestly people are still trying to talk to me with wearing a mask and i'm like sir i don't know if you got coronavirus or not like i don't want to talk to you no offense like no i'm not interested <laughs> i mean i'm not interested at all y'all know i'm not dating but do you really think i'm going to talk to you during coronavirus season which you got a mask on like no but anyway yes just about to head to the store very comfy don't feel like dressing up it's too raining um i'm still trying to figure out what rain shoes so like i had the yeezy um boots the desert boots i've been wearing those in the rain but since it's getting a little hotter right now like i just don't feel like wearing bulky desert boots so i'm just still trying to figure out what shoes i want to wear as like rain shoes that are still like really cute but i don't care to mess them up um because slides are really comfortable but sis you get your feet wet you know um so it's not really raining too much outside so i don't mind wearing slides to go down the street to the store but i'm still just trying to figure that out honestly excuse me if you hear my son too he's playing with my mother um but yeah we're gonna head to the store now bye y'all i'm tired of wearing this damn mask like i can't breathe in this thing it's so hard for me to breathe the mask on and i hate that i have to complain with it but i'm not i know i'm not the only one that it's like hard to breathe in a mask and then i got glasses on too like not these but actual glasses so it'd be fogging up my glasses every time i breathe it's the most annoying thing and what i'm gonna go without glasses and then can't see <laughs> i don't know it's annoying but i just went to the grocery store i found toilet paper for the first time ever don't even need toilet paper but i'm gonna grab one roll i'm gonna grab a pack though 
Um, and I'm at Starbucks right now. just have a single shot espresso and that's it? Just a single shot? Yes. Okay. Is that going to be all? Yes. 2.39 you can pull forward. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so if you're in at the Starbucks and Brandywine, uh, well no, yeah, so if you're looking to go to Starbucks right now that has a drive through that the lines are not super crazy because the lines have been crazy for Starbucks. Brandy wines move so fast and it's never really like a long line. Like it's 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 not a line at all. And it, we're almost like towards the front. So <laughs> I mainly come out here because Audi is right there, Safeways across the street. If I need to run in Target, it's right there too. And then Starbucks is right here. So I'm gonna go to Starbucks. And then after that, I think I'm gonna go to Panera to get a salad. Um, because I've just been feeding salads and I have like mm, a little under three more hours without Nixon. So, um, I think I'm just going to get a salad and run home. Um, I have my groceries in the back. I found toilet paper. Y'all, I found toilet paper. I don't need, we don't even need toilet paper, but we haven't even found any. So I'll grab the roll or a pack just because like who knows if we gonna find it um so i got toilet paper i had to go in target i didn't want to go in target but i had to go in my hair look at my hair frizzy all the curls are falling like i said humidity in my hair this is why i cannot wait to get my needle and thread first of all i ordered my needle and thread a little over like three weeks ago and it's still not here and it still has a week left to go i don't understand out of all the amazon orders i did that was the first order i did to get like a needle and thread to do my weed because i've never done it before and i was going to do it myself and it's taken like a whole month just to send a needle and thread like i don't understand sorry i'm getting my wallet so I really want to just braid it up so I don't have to deal with my hair during this time. Hold on, y'all. I'm about to be at the front. Oh, shit. I forgot. Y'all, I forgot. <laughs> For a minute there, I forgot. You got to wear a damn mask. I forgot where, like, what it was out here really did oh forgot back home put everything away and i decided at the <laughs> we're gonna start game of thrones so i have my salad this is what it looks like this spicy thai so it comes with this peanut sauce and wontons and chicken and then it also comes with this like dressing too which is really good but it's weird because I got the full, but they gave me, like, the full usually comes in a big round container, but they gave me two of these. So I may just eat one now and then eat one for dinner because um, it's just not a lot, really. A simple salad. Um, got Game of Thrones right here on my laptop because we have, we don't have HBO here, but my dad has it, so using his HBO Go, so I'm about to dive right into Game of Thrones, so I think this will end off the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching my weekend to myself. Um, it's been a very relaxing weekend, much needed. I have like under two hours, no, over two hours of time to myself till five. So I'm just gonna watch Game of Thrones. I'm gonna take a little nap and then get to it. Um, but yeah, it just feels good to have this time to myself. And I hope this wasn't too boring, but what else can you do during Corona season? I mean, <laughs> where else can you go? 
but um thank you guys again for so much for watching and i'll see you in another video bye and about my needle and thread not here yet look what came today my needles and threads y'all this got about two more days and this is popping out i'm about to wash my weave tonight this is being installed tomorrow okay i'm gonna do a video because it's gonna be my first time installing my own weave but it's gonna happen okay i'm so pressed i am so pressed this is what i've been waiting for and it comes it was only like five dollars i got it from amazon comes with a whole bunch of needles and a whole bunch of thread it's on I still got a laptop, I mean, my camera case, because I needed a case for my camera. So that also came today. But sis, my needle and thread that just made my entire day. Good ending to my mom week. I'm happy. All right, I'm really gone now. Back to Game of Thrones. Bye.